Hi, my name is Tuli and today I will talk you through how you can reject candidates in Team Taylor. Let's have a look. There are multiple ways on how we can reject candidates during a recruitment process, but we will start by having a look at how we can just reject one individual candidate. When you click into a candidate's candidate card, down the very bottom of it, we will be able to find a black action bar and in there a reject button. You will then firstly need to always choose a reason on why you are rejecting them. These reasons will come directly from the settings that you have created in your platform level settings. You can also choose who this reject email will come from if you want to reject a candidate with an email. However, you will also have the opportunity of rejecting them without by simply toggling the button off from here. However, if you do choose the message option, you can either write it on the spot, use one of your previously created templates, or even get Copilot to write one for you. In addition to that, you do then also have the opportunity of delaying this message if maybe you don't want to send it during the same day after you have maybe had an interview with this candidate. Then the last thing remaining is to simply click here to reject with email. The second way on how you can reject candidates inside your recruitment process is in bulk. On the right hand side here, you'll be able to find a button called bulk select. It will then allow you to either select individual people from different stages or also everybody in one particular stage. From there, if we do then want to reject those people that we have selected, you need to click onto the three dots down this bottom action bar, choose reject and do the same actions as before where you choose why you're wanting to reject them, if you want to reject them with a message or without a message, and if there should be some kind of a delay. Otherwise, simply then click reject once you are done. Now you may notice that these people that we reject actually disappear from our main pipeline view. And that is because we don't want active candidates getting mixed up with candidates that we have already rejected. However, they don't completely disappear from your process. They will simply exist behind a filter. This filter we can find here on the right hand side. Simply click onto the rejected side and we can find the candidates in the exact stages when we rejected them. The third way on how we can reject a candidate is by using our stage action quick reject. Simply click onto the three dots of the stage where you would like to activate this and select the option quick reject. You will then get to choose a very generic reject reason on why you would typically want to reject candidates a little bit quicker and again the same next steps, so reject with a message or without a message. When your quick reject is active, now that we click onto the candidate profile, down the bottom we will be able to find a quick reject button. When we hover over that, you will simply be able to see the reason on why you would be rejecting the candidate and also if there is going to be a message sent or not. Then, if you are ready to reject them, simply click here to the quick reject and now they are rejected. Rejecting candidates and choosing a reason for it is also very important because of your analytics. You'll be able to find specific details on your reject reasons both inside your job specific analytics as well as your company level analytics. Simply select the time frame on when you would like to see these details from as well as then navigate to the reject reasons tab in here and you can find an overview of why you are most commonly rejecting your candidates or maybe why candidates are rejecting your offers. Thank you for watching. If you feel that you need any help or you've got questions, you can always reach out to our support team via the chat in your platform. Happy recruiting!